Welcome to another episode of Dan Bangs On, and this episode is going to be about is it cheaper to take the car to work or take the train to work? So welcome to another episode of Dan Bangs On. And as I said, this is about whether it's cheaper to take a car or train to work. Well, a little bit more than that, actually. It's about whether owning a banger and using that for work is cheaper than buying a season ticket. So this week, I actually caught the train to work. And it wasn't a nice experience. I've taken the train to work a few times. I did it because of what was happening in work. And yes, the car had a little bit of a noise. My lovely Subaru and Pretz had decided to have a bit of a banging noise the night before. So I wanted to have a look at it before I drove. As it turns out, <clears throat> there's nothing there and it's all fine. Um, but it's nice to catch the train now and again to remind me of how depressingly terrible the trains are. So, first of all, let's talk about... Uh, how what it's like to catch the train so i live next to a train station in newport so it takes me about three minutes to walk to the train which is one of the reasons why sometimes i like to catch the train it's very convenient uh the other side it's about a 20 minute walk um and actually somebody challenged me on this it, it's not actually 20 minutes i give 20 minutes but it's about 12 to 15 minutes depending on how fast i'm walking so that's fine. Um, I don't mind the walk. It's quite nice, you know, especially when it's not pouring down with rain. Um, unfortunately, the time it takes for me to leave my house to get to work is never really less than 50 minutes. The shortest possible time it can take for me to get to work by train is 45 minutes. But that is basically impossible. Uh, or rather, you don't want it to be possible, because that means leaving my house and getting to the train station as the train is arriving. Then nothing going wrong, the train being very quick and no delays, um, and then a very quick walk from the train station to work. So, I mean, I could buy a bank, but you really don't want to see me on a bicycle. So... 50 minutes really is about what you should if everything works well 50 minutes is the shortest time that I can get to work on the train now by car the shortest time I can get to work is 24 minutes I'll say 24 minutes it could be a bit shorter than that but let's say 24 minutes it's it's a 27 mile trip um, on average and most of it is motorway so if there's no traffic i have done it in less than 24 minutes and it's door to door so the car is more convenient okay what is cheaper well this is an interesting question because i've been thinking about this and i've been trying to work things out and there is no fair way to work out what the cheapest way uh, by train is but I've decided that the season ticket is probably the best thing to work out because, uh, and this is actually the season ticket from Newport in South Wales to Filton Abbey Wood. So you can see that it's £2,588 a year. Now, they do this nice little average journey price. Uh, that's one way. And that's taking, um, I think, 20 odd days holiday a year. Um, so they reckon it's £5.57. So if you travel more than that, if you travel, if you go to work every day um, and you have the holidays they say, or you have less, then obviously that per journey price is going to decrease. Unfortunately, that's a per journey price. So per day is actually double that. So you're looking at more like eleven pounds uh, for the for the year. Plus, um, when I looked into this, uh, it looks like you have to buy the season ticket in advance, which I think is insane. Um, and I'm, I hope that they they change it so that you can you can pay it over the year because that makes sense. Uh, but when I did look into it, it was uh, upfront, which is crazy. I mean, you have to buy a car upfront, but 
the car costs are significantly less up front. So it is actually more expensive to drive a car to work. Oh, actually, it's cheaper to drive a car to work because the fuel um, is about seven, eight pound based on 27 miles per gallon. But <clears throat> uh, owning the car and running a car over a year is more expensive than buying a season ticket. So you can see uh, this is broken down. So it's three thousand eight hundred and sixty-three pounds and eight pence a year. But that includes buying the car, <laughs> because obviously I, I buy the car. Gen I buy generally buy two cars a year. I didn't this year. This this year I only bought one car uh, to save money. And uh, but I did repair it, which I don't normally do. So that kind of uh, offsets the whole paying for the car. But basically, it's a £500 upfront cost. Um, car insurance could be an upfront cost as well, although you can actually put that over the year if you want. And car tax, I always pay that monthly, because even though it ends up me paying more in car tax, I never know exactly when I'm going to get rid of the car. So it, it just makes things easier. I can just stop the direct debit and, or whatever and change, change the car tax. So, yes, it is more expensive to own a banger and drive a banger every day back and forth work. But as we said, it's more convenient. Uh, it's faster. Uh, one of the other things I like as well is that when you have a problem on the train, you're stuck on the train or you're stuck on the platform um, and you haven't got many options. Although in previous times I have actually taken my ticket back because I don't buy a season ticket. Uh, I have actually taken my ticket back and said I want my money back and then got in the car and driven to work. Uh, also, uh, so in the car you can decide which way to go. Um, so if there's uh, bad traffic, um, then you can go a different way. Uh, I did this the other week where the M5 was shut, uh, the junction I wanted to get off goes M4 and then M5 junction very quickly. Uh, so I uh, just completely avoided that, went on a completely different way. My journey time was about 40 to 50 minutes. Uh, but other people who didn't know about the incident uh, took them two and a half to three hours to get to work. Again, quicker by train in that instance, but there have been times when um, I have a colleague who catches a train and he's been three and a half hours trying to get to work. I mean, personally, I would have given up and gone home, but there you go. So, yeah. <clears throat> However, when you're in a car, you have a bit more option and you're on your own. You can listen to music loudly. Um, you can, you know, be on your own without people looking at you, bump, bumping into you, kicking you. Um, generally as well, uh, on the route that I take, um, it's very difficult to get the seat, to get seats. Uh, in fact, uh, when I was doing it regularly, me and a colleague on the way back home, we used to catch a train to a different station and then get on the, uh, London Cardiff service train, uh, because it was generally quite empty by the time we got to Bristol. So you could actually sit down. Whereas I have had times where I literally could not fit on the train because it was too full which you don't get in the car <laughs> i can always fit in the car it's always nice so yeah it is more expensive to own a banger and use the banger for work but generally in life you need a car so quite a few of these expensive like car tax car repairs car insurance are always going to have and buy in the car i suppose they're always going to have so it's the fuel uh, that we want to look at and you can see that the fuel is significantly less than catching the train. And that's basically what I uh, base my decision on. So that's it, really. Um, basically, I suggest that everybody um, buys a banger. Uh, forget about your expensive cars. Go out, buy a banger, uh, and use that. Uh, it's so much so, in fact, that if everybody did that, then the trains wouldn't become overcrowded and I could actually catch the train to work and have a seat, uh, which would be nice. And then probably I'd switch to trains if I could actually sit down. So there you go. <laughs> That's my really uh, useless opinion. Uh, if you like this episode, uh, please subscribe and like. Uh, if you disagreed with anything, uh, probably quite a lot, uh, then please comment because I like to read the comments. Um, and learn 
how badly I messed this up. Uh, and don't forget to tune in to our another episodes um, about uh, the reviews of the bangers that I currently own, uh, which will be going up soon.